So everything else but this was demolished in 1825. This apparently is the bridge between this and the Kruptik or Karpek Palace. So there's the bridge which was original, but probably this building next to it is not. This little piece of building that we can see back in there. All of this stuff that I'm building now may be 1825 post. So we must be entering now into the palace proper, which makes me wonder what was this square behind me that we just visited. Okay, there's the groove, the vertical groove that held the door on that side, and there a slot that went up into that arch that I'll show you in a moment, and then farther on up into a cavity. And then probably right down here where we see this part carved out with some of the metal gear work for raising the door. This was just probably part of the wall up here. That hole might have been a device for a chain that would lift up the door itself some, via some mechanism of pulley either below that hole or above it. I don't know. And then on the outside where this dark stain is, there are a couple of holes there that might again have held part of the mechanism for actually raising the door and the gear system right down in that area right there maybe. There's another tower, so this would have been an enciente or something like that, uh, a double entryway if you will, but here very interesting, a key slot arch, I've never seen that before. Here an arch that looks like it could be functioning as a buttress but probably was not originally intended for that. And there's a small window for something. Some holes there that might have spelled some kind of hardware. And looking in the opposite direction, another arch, a double arch there. Here, a port through the wall itself. Um, maybe it went into an inner portion of a thick wall. Maybe the wall goes farther back beyond that lady. And I'm guessing now we're at the back of a church. How old that church is, I don't know. Interesting, that corner piece looks like a capital on a column, but it's on a corner. There's some interesting detail. That might have been very pretty when it was built. Looks like it's really well worn up there. Looks like whatever was inside there has just been weathered out. So who knows how old this is. Does it go before the 1825? I don't know. Here an interesting old building, and I'm guessing that its left side butts up to and supports the uh, actual wall. <clears throat> but some interesting detail here. That may be giving us the date. And then some kind of little device up there. It looks like a bird hanging on the side in a pretty sculpted window treatment. Kept on walking towards the sea, in other words, to the right as I came through that entrance into the palace. And now I'm down to this square with this statue, and I'm a few hundred feet away from the main street. This appears to be a remnant of the wall, and if so, that's illustrating how uh, post-constructed buildings supported the wall when they were built within the palace grounds.
Marco Marulik, 1450, 1524. So that would put him a little bit after the start of the Renaissance. This is interesting. It looks like a device for siphoning the water off of the top of the wall, unless... The lady tells me that this wall and this tower was built by the Venetians to protect uh, this town against the Ottoman Turks, whereas Diocletian's palace was built in the 3rd century or 4th century. I'll work my way back in here and see if I can get back inside the palace. Of course, the stone sarcophagus. That looks like a significant Roman type wall. This just simply may be some kind of prior wall, but who knows when it was from. Pretty balcony. Again, I get the sense that some of this detail is pure buttressing between buildings as a means of support, mutual or the wall. Not outstanding, but old and a pretty door. Certainly 19th century. I'll go to the left, and we're straight ahead, coming out or coming through the gate that led into the uh, palace. There's another splendid structure that's part of that entry arch wall of the palace. An interesting arch design. Now orientated as though we were coming into the palace again through whatever this curious arch was for. A one-sided arch, if you will. This wall facing us, an old building, restored at the upper portions. And obviously new buildings on either side, the one on the left having cut through that wall, if you will, or at least butted up to it in the middle of that arch. Here I think we're in another uh, port through the wall that's been restored. Difficult now to see the remnants of the wall itself. No surprise. I suspect that may be part of going down there, so we'll take a look. Here are the remains of an old building, probably not terribly old, but older than the one behind it. Um, what's interesting is those blocks of stone that you see probably were cannibalized from the original palace walls or the palace itself. Here it looks like we've encountered another access entry th through the wall that might be original, including a now bottled up, if you will, uh, blocked uh, entry archway into the interior of the wall itself. However, it's hard to distinguish between whether this wall right here was some kind of a new supporting building that was built against the old wall, including that arch there, and that wall that's on the right hand side. Stones of this size give this wall credibility for its era. Here we may also be looking at an exterior tower. Although it certainly looks restored. I'm somewhere on the interior of the palace. Uh, but all of the buildings we're looking at here probably are not from that era. They were built afterward. This remains of an old building that again may have been just a bridge between these two buildings that served as a buttress primarily, now abandoned. It was a little bit interesting, probably that's a new arch entryway, but that entry there may be for uh, a merchant's goods and up there perhaps a residence for the merchant or others. What exactly this is, I have a clue, but it certainly is and was substantial and may well be original to the palace. So it should be the north gate. Uh, this is that secondary entrance hole, and this is the primary entrance where the door was. It's filled in above, but the uh, door used to go up through that slot and slide in that slot there. There's a little park to the north of the palace and not far from my hostel. That, of course, is the wizard from Harry Potter series. It was envisioned long before Rowling thought of it. 
and this looks like a bell tower uh, once was. Maybe that suggests that it's from the uh, Venetian um, 14th century wall.